Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. It's episode 56 and we're on round 110. It's been a couple of weeks since I've I've actually looked at this game. Um, yeah, I think it's like two two weeks. I've just been really, really, really busy catching up. I was kind of I was sick while I was supposed to be at uni and so I didn't do loads of uni work and then kind of just trying to catch up and uh, not really been able to play any games or really do much anything like that, so... Yeah, just trying to kind of get back to where I was and sort of figure out what was going on. Um, but it's all coming back to me now. So we had just taken Boston, if I remember right. Let's just have a look down here. Yeah, we'd just taken Boston and we'd not long taken Opal Mount. Um, we are moving in for an assault on Gig uh, Gigwa or Gigoy. Um, and at some point... I forget now, but I think this has just been taken by Robosphere Republic. Um, I don't know if Maysville ever belonged to uh, to Gigwa or Gigwait. I think it did. I think it did. Let me just see if I can let's get this map so it's looking a little bit more like where we want it to be. And you, if you scroll the mouse wheel, uh, you can kind of move it around. Okay, there we go. Just turn the diplomatic colours on. So, I think that Robosphere has been pushing in on this side as well. I, I think they did, because I, th I think I'm, I, I was pretty sure I, that we had a couple left to take. But we are nearly done now. Um, and I want to take Gigua before Robosphere get to it. And I think that I can do that. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, so, without further ado, let's have a look at what happened in the history lesson. Or the history s setting. I'll just stop it whenever there's any something interesting going on. So you can see uh, Gigoy are kind of moving. Uh, they're they're moving around, just sort of redeploying their forces. Now they attacked us here, and you'll see that they attacked mostly with like they, these are old troops. These. Guerrier 2 and Guerrier, they, these are old, I think these are like, some of them are using carbines and um, slug throwers, <laughs> so these are old guys and they managed to kill 200 of our soldier threes and uh, uh, 10 crossbodies, so that was it. Yeah, they are uh, redeploying along this border. Once this is played out, we'll have a close look. Uh, what it is that they've actually left there because it doesn't look like they've left a whole lot there now these guys are moving around on this border too on our western uh, the west, the nation to the west of us whose name I have forgotten and these are some aliens that are that seem to, that have actually they've come out of this uh, land here down this narrow strip of land and that might be something to look at first Maybe we'll do the decisions first. Yeah, that's how I was doing it. So, national budget allocations. Um, I don't remember there being any particular problems here. Uh, but seeing the words Applied Science Council has just made me realise that it's, it's always good just to check what your Applied Science Council is working on from time to time. Because it's quite easy to forget about it. So, where are we? We're doing fuel efficiency. Okay, let's just have a look how far we've got into fuel efficiency. Uh, my my information blindness stopped me from seeing whether that information was there or not. So where's fuel efficiency? Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. Or is it in chemistry? Here we are, 32. So we want to go further down this one. I think fuel efficiency is a good one to have, actually. Excuse me, I'm just going to grab some battle tea because it's quite late at night and I'm tired. Earl Grey tea is the uh, commander's choice tonight. In fact, it's basically the commander's choice every time. It's all I drink. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave this as it is. No changes. Air Force Council priority. Right, so we switched that to Discovery priority 10. Um, why did I do that? Well, it might be that we didn't really have any more text to discover. Helicopter design. 
we can discover still, and Throttle Wings we can discover still, and Turbojet Engine, um, which I have been reliably informed by my friend Trifler, is probably our best bet for aircraft. Um, so I think I might up this one now. I might up it, up it to 33%. Just so we can get some of those more interesting things. Thropters are going to be really cool. Uh, I'd like to try Thropters. I've never used them before. Um, Military Research Council. Let's have a look at this one. Guided RPG. I mean, we, we, we've got lots of options now. Lots and lots of options. Probably need to start thinking about our strategic planning. Um, let's just have a look what models we've got. Oh, we just got a walker, didn't we? Got a good walker design as well, apart from the armor. The armor's not very good. But the uh, the weapon and the engine are pretty good on that. Um, got a tank destroyer. Terrible Oh, this is a really bad design. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it's not a good design, that one. I'd be tempted to re-roll that. Again, Triflo actually he he mentioned that there's um, you pay more for each model basically, so the the BP on the model will go up each time, and you've got to be a bit careful about making too many models. I don't think it's a big problem for me actually. Okay, military research, gas powered small arms. I don't need. I think I've moved into. I've probably moved into a uh, Gauss technology and I'm going to stick with gas models. We've got laser rifles as well. I've not even I don't think I've even deployed a model of those yet. Um let me have a, let me just check that actually. Sorry guys, for you for you for those of you who are kind of watching them all in a sequence, this is going to be a bit annoying because it's there's obviously going to be a little bit of a disconnect between um you know, your memories of what happened in the last episode and my memories of what happened 2 weeks ago. Okay, so we've not actually created a soldier's six yet and they will be they'll, they'll have laser rifles um now i forget now what gauss rifle does i think it's just increase i don't think it gives you any increased armor penetration i don't think i think it's the same armor penetration as before but it's just a much stronger yeah look 118 soft attacks not bad um I haven't really used those yet, but I, I think I probably should try and catch up with what the others are using. Tempted to use jetpacks, because I like using infantry. Um, how far down the tree is jetpacks, and how quick will it come out, I wonder? Jetpacks is quite far down, look. Heavy combat armor might be a better bet. Um, what do we need to get atomic missiles, by the way? Because I like using nukes a lot. Uh, we need missiles. Okay, so we've not discovered missiles yet. Um, let's go with missiles, because that will open up some more technologies. Um, when it comes to a model... Right, I've got a lot of options now. Um, we could go for something like... Have I built any rocket launchers yet? Again, I've, for I've forgotten this. We can tell here, can't we? Let's have a look. Didn't complete a model design. So we could build a rocket launcher. Or we could get some laser infantry. Um, let's get our first rocket launcher. I think I'm going to splash out and get the, big, the maximum range one first. Okay, so 620 total weight. Mind you, that's going to be really, you know, I'm not going to do that. That's going to be super expensive with regards to our rare metals. I think I'm just not, I'm, I'm not too worried about, the, they shouldn't get into combat. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to put Maybe 50 mil polymer. But I might be tempted just to put some steel on them. Although steel is, is as expensive as uh, as the rare metals in this one. Um, 14 rare metals. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's 800 armor. I suppose if they they might take it, they might end up taking a hit. This would be 520 total weight, so that's a little bit heavy. Mind you, um, these don't need to be fuel efficient particularly. They're not there. It doesn't really matter if they're fuel inefficient. You don't want them too fuel inefficient because they use more fuel than you would with the large engine. Let's okay. just go for the double diesel engine. Okay. Operationalize a new army. Let's have a look. An army type, I should say. Uh, let me think of what can be useful here. I've kind of moved away from motorized stuff already. Uh, mechanized siege infantry might be useful. We've got heavy siege infantry yet. Heavy armor. Hmm. Let's go for the grenadier infantry, are we? This gives you this gives you RPGs. Um, okay, so let's have a look at some of the decisions we've got to make. Protests in Opal Mount. Uh, I'm, I'm. That's a lot of money to give in, and I'm actually I'm actually hemorrhaging money at the moment, and I need to check find out why. Um, but. Opal Mount, which one is this? Opal Mount's the one we've just taken, right? Where are we? This direction. Let's use the minimap instead of scrolling like that. This is what the minimap's for. Opal Mount, okay. We don't have many troops in there. I'm just going to pay them, I think. And we'll have to find the money somehow. Uh, food theft in Boston. Um. 1d20, no, 20, average 174, no, we're just going to have to crush them here. Have we got a lot of troops in Boston? What have we got? No, we don't. So, how many people have we got? 131,000. We're going to need some more troops in there if we're going to do this. Let's get, let's move um, some of the units from this core in temporarily. Uh, okay, there we go. 1,400 thieves were killed. Minor strike in Erg Flats. Uh, let's just give them some some money again. Roaming thieves in large archive. Okay, this is in the far north. Uh, okay, we successfully did that. We lost some food. Now we need a, go a governor for Boston. She's might be okay. Probably a bit wasted on that. Leadership 21. He's okay as well, although he's got low charisma. Let's see if we can... We've got a few political points. Let's see if we can hire somebody for this job. Um, let's have a look. Got a diplomat, or we can just recruit a normal civilian. Let's try that. Okay, Gordon Redner. Yeah, he's a little bit better look. He's got trade, administration, and leadership. Okay, he was good, so let's get him aye in aye there. Sir. Um Beatfer. Which one is that one again? Beatfer, there we are. Um I I I still don't know if there's a way of cl clicking on this and then it taking you to to the actual map. I, I wish there was actually. That would be great. It might be that there is. Oh, I suppose you can go to the strategic map, can't you? That's one way of doing it. Go to zones. Beautiful. There we go. And then go there. Click go there. There we go. That's how to do it. So. Uh, do I want to upgrade this place yet? Why would I want to do that? Well, I might want to get more. I might want to increase the side of my trucks, for, for example, which I think I can already do. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to increase this yes, one yet. That, and um, Salzburg. Do the same job again. Let's have a look at Salzburg. I really just feel like a long time. Okay, I remember. So Salzburg is part of one of these two big towns here. These, there's lots and lots of people in these. Salzburg probably does want to increase inside. 
in size. Although, mind you, we're okay for the time being. I might leave it. Again, I might leave it. I only do that at the very last minute. An envoy from Robespierre Republic. He requests to open a line of communication between us. Montefel turns its parliament against us. Which one's Montefel? Again, just have to remind myself who these ones are. Okay, Montefel I don't actually share a border with. Like, I don't care if they... I don't really care what they think of me. Um, let's have a look at Montefel and see what their relations are like with... With our other neighbours. Uh, regimes... Montefel. Okay, so they're at war with Robespierre, Rochoye, Pax, Mayflower Federation, and Ocelon Territory. Uh, no, we don't want to be friends with them then. What size are they with regards to? Well, how close to the victory are they? They're quite. They're quite high up. Look. I mean, if we if if we were to take a. If we were to take a mean of the of the victory score here they're kind of low right but you know if we were looking at the the mode uh, we they are like smack bang in the middle pretty much so i don't know it's difficult to say like i don't really care about them to be honest we could send we could send uh, envoys to promoters mind you it's going to not doing it is going to annoy everybody well let's do it then um, an envoy from Robespierre Republic has entered our territories. Right, look, the the thing is, and I think I was talking about this, I remember talking about this the last time I played, um, or the last few times I played. You can't really be um, friendly with everyone in these games. And there's, I don't know if Shadow Empire has any mechanics in it that kind of force you to go to war, uh, like some games do. It certainly seemed like that when I first started playing it, because it, it always seemed inevitable that they would always turn on you. But I, I think they're trying to turn on me, but my my uh, diplomats are not having it. So, I mean, this is to my advantage, right? It means that I get to pick and choose who, who I go to war with. And Robespierre, I mean... Look, they might be a good bet. And okay, here's here's my thoughts here. It's not usually a good idea to go to war with someone with, you've got an, such a narrow combat front with. Um, and I think the reasons for that are for, it's it's difficult to kind of end the war quickly, right? It's gonna it's more likely that it's gonna just turn into some grindy um, trench warfare battle unless you can very very quickly get your troops in. And take something of value before you know this whole thing gets really messy. Now, this is the entirety of our combat front here. Um, Robosphere. Let's have a look who they are at war with. They're at war with Gigoy, like um, or Gigwa and Gigoy. They're at war with Montefel. They're, they're at war with Gigari Pax. They're at war with Carinon Pax and they're at war with Aurora, Aurora Federation. So they're at war with everybody. Um, Kigari Pax, who are, one of, who are the biggest neighbour, um, they are at war with Robosphere as well. Honestly, I think that Robosphere might be a decent target for us. This is kind of like turning into a game of Dominions in a sense because it looks like we're all sort of picking on the... We're starting to pick on the on the weaker nations and sort of dogpile them. Um, my other way, my other access with Robosphere is here. And now they're at war with Montefel, but they have got this narrow strip of land. This is Caranon Pax, who we are friends with. Still friends with Montefel as well. I mean, Robosphere might be a good bet. They were the nemesis, I believe. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at this because I don't know. But they, um, if I remember right, they, they seem to be the, the largest... They seem to be the largest faction until these three started kind of taking over. Um, Robosphere, we, we basically, if we're going to go to war with someone, we really need to be very careful about what the relative tech levels are. Um... 
So they've got nearly eight. Yeah, I'm not far off. I'm not far off that. So, I mean, this is telling you their, their population. Uh, where else is... Oh, we haven't really got any more information on Robosphere. We've got trade details with them, about them. Um, yeah, we're not doing any trade with them either. Yeah, interesting. So much, there's so much to think about in this game. I love it so much. We don't have a lot of information on them. At the moment, they've got corporatists in power. So corporatists, generally speaking, will do, you know, they, they really, they will go to war with you if it's in their interests. And they're at war with a few people. I, I actually think that it might be a good idea. It might be a good idea to, for them to be, for me to go to war with Robisphere. And um, I've got two war, I've got two fronts with them. It's going to be really hard to kind of take much from them. But the thing is, they are already at war with their neighbours. And I think that there's two, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of ways of thinking about this again. Like, I don't really need a huge amount more land. Um, you can always do, it's always good to have more men to take some zones. So you can have more, you know, more manpower, more of an industrial base. I mean, I have got a lot of territory. It's going to be quite hard for me to hold this. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to war with anybody yet. But I might just refuse these diplomatic contacts for now. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's dropped our relationship just a little bit. Um, but I think that that's, yeah, we can't be friends with everyone, basically. Okay, let's start doing some, some combat. Gonna remind myself what's in what we've got here. Oh, those guys are taking some losses. Look, let's send these guys in. Oh, fierce fighting! What are these guys? Soldiers four. Okay, so we got in there. What are your readiness like? Okay, they're not bad. Not bad. I don't want to lose too many more of those troops. But we might as well... Let's defeat these quickly. Oh, we did lose some. I don't like losing veteran troops. Now, what we could do, it would be easier not to move all these guys in here. Let's make sure we've got we've got enough supply going in here. Um, forgetting my keys, there we go. Yeah, it might be better for it to actually, rather than kind of try and push up this way, is just to let them come down here and then encircle them again like we just did. Okay, we'll leave those guys there for the time being. What else have we got to do? Why did I build these? Uh, this is the problem with having such a long time in between play sessions. You sometimes forget what you're doing. Um... I think actually it might be worth getting some of these buggies down here anyway. Get something up on this line. Um, I don't think we're gonna. There's no. There won't be an imminent war with Robosphere. It obviously looked like they wanted parley. These guys are okay for the time being. They are just. Oh, they're these are full strength now as well. So. The uh, the first SHQ. I think still has quite a lot of troops. Yeah, we've got loads of troops, look. So this is a good place to be making troops. What about the second? The second is starting to get them as well, look. We're getting quite a lot of recruits in too. That's good news. And I think I actually transferred a, a bunch over, didn't I? Make ourselves some ammunition. Uh, ah, rare metals we are low on. I think what I'm going to do is, 
yeah, let's just get the let's get the warfare stuff out of the way, and then I might take a little bit of time just to plan to plan my next moves and just kind of re-familiarize re myself with the game. I'm going to try and play an episode. Uh, I am still busy, but I am going to try and play an episode of this every couple of nights. I think so that because I want to kind of keep it going. Um, I'm de I definitely want to finish it. I've been having so much fun with this game that I, there's no way I'm not going to finish it. Uh, let's move these guys in. Okay, so we've got something on the border now. Look, they have actually got some troops here. This is the uh, light infantry brigade. So, and these guys are on no retreat. Look, I want these blockers. I'm pretty sure I had some blockers in this. There we go. There we are, blockers. Right. So, let's mind you, forty nine. Action points. Yeah, that's not going to do the job. Um, these are tough. These got lasers with them. I don't want to be. Let's just send everything in. Okay. Oh wow. I mean. We crushed them there. We absolutely crushed them. Okay. There we go. So we've got now we've got a foothold. This is a foothold. Um, what is this they've got? Oh, so these are APCs. We're close. We are close to taking this. Uh, they just they they haven't got enough to defend with. They have got some decent sized regiments, look, but I don't think they I don't think that they can. I don't think they're going to be able to take us. Yeah, let's get these tanks in. Advancing. Oh, we lost one. We lost two. Oh. Right, lasers. Um, I want to see what happened here. Okay, unknown enemy. Morale penalty due to orderly repeat retreat. Yeah, we, it's saying unknown enemy, so I'm not really sure exactly what what it is that's being. Oh, that's just the second armored battalion. Of course, it is. It's, let's have a look here. Attack by Phoenix. Yeah, I, I wanted to see if it was the lasers, basically. Um, it's likely enough because I don't think this these guys are going to be doing much to get through this armor. Wow. Okay. I need to rethink that strategy then. Uh, that strategy being send stuff in blindly. Let's get these infantrymen in. Uh, we've got an infantry battalion on defend here, which also going to do the job. There we go. Put it this way. They're not going to be able to dislodge us. I'm pretty sure. Can we get anything into these mountains here? No, these are high mountains. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. In fact I don't I don't even want those Oh I can't move them now. Okay. Yeah, I forgot we got another zone here too. They are going to need people guarding them. Although it's a, oh, it's just a small village. Look, there's barely anybody there. I wonder if that's one that the AI made. Oh, they can move in. Okay, that's good news. Right, let's get these guys into these agricultural zones here. So we've just got some more defense. We don't need those sat. Okay, get the bikes in this way.
That looks good to me. Um, yeah, these, and get these tanks in. Now, I don't think, I, hopefully I won't get a stacking penalty here. Yeah, these are going to have to, these guys are going to have to retreat. They, uh, they, they took quite a lot of, took quite a lot of damage there. Let's get these HQs in here. Oops, no, they want to be in the second HQ. I'll just leave those as a guard unit for now. I think. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually going to have to get some more units down here because I don't, I don't want those to be used as a guard unit. Now, I was retreating these guys back, wasn't I, the second infantry, if I remember right. So let's get these guys back out because they have taken some heavy, heavy casualties. What are these? Crusader 2s. Um, again, I'd forgotten what I was doing with those. I think, oh, I think I actually upgraded those, didn't I? Yeah, I think they've been upgraded. Is that my latest design of Crusader? I think it is. So, yeah, Crusader 2 is the, is the latest one we've got. Um, I wonder if you could transfer the pilots from one class of tank to another. I don't think you can. If you can, I don't know how to do it. Uh, okay, so let's just get... Let's start doing on this side. So, oh, they've got a lot of men here. Let's start with this encirclement. Um, I don't know how long they've been encircled for. I, don't th I think it's only a few turns. It might be... Ah, oh, well, that's looking good. Yeah. Let's go. It's giving us a fair chance of that one. Operation successful. 50 to 1 or whatever it was. Okay. This is a bit more difficult. Um, maybe keep these encircled longer. Okay, um, we've actually got supply. I wonder if we can actually get any replacement troops in here. No. No, we can't. Okay, there must be a bottleneck. Oh yeah, of course. We haven't got any. We haven't got a, a clear line here. Yeah, getting some get uh, reconnecting all this logistics is going to be an important job. Let's get these guys in here, and then we can. Uh, those guys need replenishing, but I don't think I can afford them to. Ouch. Come on. Okay. Those guys are way too uh, well dug in. Ah, oh, these cataphracts, they are out of... They're out of supplies. Energy. They've got no energy, so they can't attack. Um, Alright. I suggest that we just dig in, then. Let's get... There, we, we don't need to attack them here, necessarily. I could probably just move... Yeah. Make sure they're all still in supply. Yep, yeah, they've got plenty of supply. Yeah, I don't need to be hasty with this. Now, what did I say? I, I think I said something like a conservative estimate. I, I expected about five turns to take this. Uh, if I'm lucky, I might just be able to deep st to strike straight into here. But they are. This is where they are. I mean, they, they've got the bulk of their forces here now. So it's going to be an interesting puzzle. Um, figuring out how I can break into this with but and take as uh, as few losses as possible. They technically have got better technology than me as well. Yeah, and it looks like they're starting to upgrade some of these. Although again, look, they have got some guys that are just using slug throwers. 
So they've got a real mixed bag. I'm going to move down some more of these some more of these uh, is this a light infantry battalion yeah these are light infantry so get these guys all down got some artillery pieces coming a very large set of artillery and then we've got these motorized uh, mechanized infantry And these will be uh, very, very valuable, I think. Okay, we've actually got some recon aircraft now. And how, I forget which key it is. If I just right click, air recon. Birds are in the sky. There we go. Just, we should be able to get some recon points on here now. I just did that for fun, by the way. Obviously, I don't really need to to be uh, to be reconning this area, but it's just I've not I've I've actually yet to do any air missions, and yeah, I don't think these guys are really needed. I don't think we're going to war with these guys anytime soon. But I do like to have a, a meaty. A meaty guard just in case because those guys they will be very very difficult to move to to move if we do get attacked although i'm hoping that we'll see an attack coming before that time and i also think by the time i get them down here they're probably this is this war's probably going to be over i think so yeah that's about it um where are these guys going get these down to this Get these guys down here. I might actually move those and put them into one of those cities. I like to have independent units sitting in cities rather than battalions. You know, rather than any formation that's under an OHQ. It kind of makes sense to do that. All right, let's see if we need to um, replenish any troops. There's a few in the first SHQ. But most of the most of these guys now, or sorry, most of the operational command needs to, has actually moved over to, to the second SHQ now. So there's probably not going to be a huge amount to do here. While we do have all these troops, it could be an idea to start raising some more formations. Um, I actually I think it would be good to get another, maybe to get another core going and training since we've got so many troops and we've got plenty of resources heavy siege infantry assault infantry corps yeah maybe just if I just go with I might just go with the machine, machine gun infantry these are always going to be useful pretty much um Soldiers 4, 0 gun 5. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. And I kind of like that colour too. So um, I'm, once we've got an OHQ commander in there, I'll get them on training and we'll get, we'll get them trained up. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to station them. I might keep them. Okay, so we've got one core on this side. We've got this one here. We've got one here. I might get a core down, yeah, maybe down this way, just in case. And then let's get another one up here too, if we can afford it. I think we can. There we go. Another, so let's get another machine gun infantry core. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Let's change that colour because I think we've got that purple colour already. Um, I could switch out some of my other my, my other brigades now for cores, but I, I like having the flexibility of multiple units. Obviously, you've got then got to pay more leaders and so so forth. But uh, let's think of a colour we've not had yet. This kind of teal colour. Is that teal? Yeah, whatever it's called. There we go. So that's another one as well. We'll keep those 
I might bring them down. We've got one core down this way. I might bring another one down here. Um, just so that we've got... We've got a force in case one of these guys starts, basically. Okay. And let's have a look. Let's go through the, our assets in each zone and just see what we could get. Um, you're going to find, basically, that there'll be something to build everywhere, pretty much. So, you know, I mean, we want to be building up our infrastructure as much as possible. We just finished demetallization here. That's going to be expensive with, with regards to uh, energy, so... We might want to get some more energy here. Yeah, we've got solar panels too. Let's go for... Oh, we haven't got industry two here yet. I think I'll go for the energy though. Make sure we've got all the required things for it. And yeah, let's go for that. What about Skull Tower? Just uh, completed Air Base 2. Um... We've still not built a VidCon station. I think I'll just get that up, just for the sake of completion. Um, it, it will help. And we've got an extreme civilization here, but yeah, look, our education score is dropping. So let's get that up. What else? And uh, we could probably go through every single one of these and build something. Let's get a solar panel field up. Just so that we are we're well, ensuring that we don't run out of any energy. Or we don't we don't run out of energy. Truck station, railhead, what does this guy what this place need? Probably a hospital. Understood. Artificial biped. Truck station and recycling. Okay. Let's get that fuel depot up. Oil mining, sorry. Now, Salzburg and Rubberers, they are crying out for development, I think. So, Bureaucratic Office, Truck Station 2, uh, they've got the same. Let's just see what, what they're looking like. They're high sieve and extreme sieve, respectively. So... Um... I think I've, I, this one I'm going to build up. I'll start building up some of the civilization. Now, this is a big town. Extreme civilization. Maybe I'll go for industry here in this one. Right, just so we can start building up our industry. Oops. Sorry, guys. I hit the wrong button there. Okay, so we've done that side. Got to be a bit careful building too much stuff. So, I think I might... Mind you, we've got loads of... We have actually got loads and loads of spare in, uh, logistical points by the looks of it. They're building solar panels. Ah, oh, we don't have enough workers here. Let's, get, let's send some workers in as colonists. Let's try and get this up, up and running. Iceron. This was a larger city. Oh, no, it's really... These have been... It looks like people have been moving out of Iceron to, to the other the other places okay so we're building um solar panels there lee mac we're building sol solar panels too meta mountain we're building that supply base three uh we could increase the size of this truck station here at gunnet alternatively we could get let's get a vidcon station up Beatfer, probably truck station two, if we can get that yet. Yes, sir, right yes we can. 
Uh, I'm not going to build too much stuff down there because I don't want to affect my supply lines too much. Ah, these guys, this, these need power and fast. Roger that. Minos, we've just finished construction of power there, so let's get... Let's get a hospital that. up. To start picking up some of these things that we've that some of the basics that we've been missing. Truck station two, agrodome three. Um Roger get the that. barracks up. Start moving through these. Okay, I think that's gonna be it, guys. Alright, so yeah, I think we've done. And next turn. We're gonna have you're you're gonna see more of this war down in this south southern part against Gigoy. I mean, hopefully we can finish these guys pretty soon. But this is looking like a pretty interesting battle. I might need some artillery. You know, thinking about it. Oh, we have got some coming down. Um, I wonder if it might be worth if we can raise any more. Nah, I don't think we can get it. We've spent up for the turn. Okay, guys. Anyway, um, other than just making some ammo, because we're probably going to need some more ammo, I'm probably going to leave it there. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series still. I shall endeavour to play an episode of this every couple of nights, just as and when I can. Um, I'm hoping that, yeah, I, there won't be such a big gap. Although I have got, I've got exams, so exams have to come first. But yeah, let me know what you think of the series anyway, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon. Take care.